Tonight we'll be camping in a beer infested national park in Sweden. There are lots of potential risks on this mission and one of the biggest factors is the icy temperatures. And did we mention the bit? We are going to attempt to trek through this wildlife ridden obstacle course. Just 0.2 kilometers to go. Would you like Contra? And find ourselves a derelict cabin in the woods to stay the night. Oh, okay, you don't really want to stay in that one then. It's not that warm in there. In preparation, we'll need to pack the right gear. I'm a little bit concerned because everybody who's going that way have got cross country skis on. This might come in handy though if we do meet a bear. And wear the correct clothing in order to not get hypothermia. I can't carry that. You look like a murderous worm. We'll also need to build a fire to stay warm and cook all of our food on a camping stove. I don't want to go too far and fall in the spring. Some of you may be thinking, well that sounds pretty straightforward, but we're not very outdoorsy. This is all pretty new to us. <laughs> we have to burn one, do we? Come on! Could be sleeping under a tree tonight. So wish us luck. Let's go. Yeah, we've got to because today we're going on an adventure. <laughs> we're going on an adventure. I need a coffee. You better get up and make one then, mate. Whoa! <laughs> so the lights flashing when the coffee machine go in. <laughs> I was wide awake this morning at about like six o'clock because I swear I heard something breathing outside the van. What, like a human or an animal? No, like an animal. So I don't know whether it was like a moose or a bear or I what. I imagine it was. I really do hope we see something today. I really obviously hope it's not a bear. Look how nice this is. Like, it's so warm in here. We've got coffees. That it's... heater is just on me. Sure, you want to do this? It's New Year's Eve, you know. We should welcome in the new year with a, with a bit of adventure. The nice cosy night in the bus. <laughs> Little cinema night. Don't be a fanny, we're going. <laughs> Good coffee that. For this mission, I'm going to need base layers to keep my body warm. A pair of fleecy dungarees, because they're cool. A down jacket. A fleecy hoodie, so you look like a full on teddy bear. A green gilet to break it up, you know, so Craig can find me in the snow. A bobble hat. Big fat green balaclava and a bum bag for the stacks for the beers. Are you going to just put one sweet in there? That's the smallest bum bag I've ever seen. Oh, you'd be surprised. This is a Mary Poppins bag. You can get a washing machine in that. You are going to be sweating. I'm going to be, sweat. I'm boiling already, Craig. So maybe, <laughs> maybe you don't need this much, but maybe to sleep. This is what I could wear. This is how ill prepared we are. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> First, we need to go to a bakery to rent some snowshoes. <laughs> It's not even a joke, so weird, but apparently this is what you do. We also need to ask them some questions about the wildlife. Yeah, and how smart what we're about to do actually is. It's quite snowy last night, so hopefully we can get out of this. To the bakery! Oh, it's so magic, Craig. This whole area is packed, full of snow. I, I just feel like it's Christmas every single day. Another really cool thing around here is that you just see people out on snowmobiles, going on little missions and stopping at the petrol station like <laughs> just so foreign for us and um, for all of you guys asking yes i did finally manage to get snow boots um, but they're really ugly so i don't really want to talk about them when we got to the bakery we asked some locals about our mission they said all of the beers are in hibernation so we didn't need to worry about them. But what we did need to worry about was the packs of wolves in the area. This is the cutest little shack ever. It smells incredible. I fell in love with these matching hats. But unfortunately, the fur is rabbit. So uh, I think we're going to leave them. Little chainsaw. All right, so we got the necessities. Moose hats, some bickies and a lighter. <laughs> so the guy actually told us that we didn't need snowshoes today. It's not the right um, kind of snow. It's too soft, so we'll probably just end up sinking in it. Oh, bloody Nora. That's her first gear fam. Oh no. Of course we're gonna get stuck. Ah, oh, flipping heck. This isn't what we need right now because we've already got like a certain amount of hours of sunlight. We need to get going, you know. If you know me, I'm not much of a walker, so it might take a while. Yeah! <laughs> Wait for me! 
Okay, let's go. Supplies we will need for this trip. One rucksack, two sleeping mats, a hammock. You never know. A lantern. Turn on. A lantern. Why does that not work? A lantern. We need lots of lights, so we've got some headlamps and a backup torch. Camping stove and gas. We haven't tested this yet, so hopefully it works, otherwise we're not gonna eat. I did make some sandwiches. Two pots, two spoons, and some dry food. Some TP, some Swedish snacks. These ones have got warning signs, so we'll try them later. <laughs> These nuts. Hand and feet warmers, H2O, a pocket knife, and two sleeping bags. I think we'll be all right, Trev. You flipping sarnies, mate! Oh, sarnies and a lighter. <sighs> this is you, babes. <laughs> Are you joking me? I can't carry that. Can you help me get it on? Oh my gosh. This is going to be hard work. Okay, let's turn the heating down to one. We're going to leave that on. Lock up shop. And we're just going to pop Deborah in bed. Just in case anybody thinks about breaking in, they might think that there's someone actually just sleeping in the bed. Genius idea, genius. We did it in Europe and we were never broken into. I need to make your head a bit rounder though. I don't think that's going to work, is it? No, that's not gonna work. There we go. That looks so creepy. <laughs> All right. Well, for a night. You think we'd be going for three weeks? All right, let's go. Ready for an adventure? Because I am. Just got really nervous all of a sudden. This will be fine, won't it? I think so. Okay. Be good girl. How far's our trek then, Holmes? I mean, all I can see on the sign is this. <laughs> the man at the bakery said that they were all sleeping. He said, try not to wake him up. Shh. Luckily enough, there is signposts for blonde tact, which we're Be heading. What? No, don't, don't shout like that. Not in the forest, Craig. 22 kilometers that way. Just joking, it's only two. Oh, I'm gutted, I thought that was a moose. <laughs> so every step that you take in this snow is kind of like walking on sand. You do sink down into it a little bit. And with this bag on my back, oh my goodness. Craig, can I change my nickname, please? Is there a Trev? Can I have Dora? This video is sponsored by Athletic Greens. Oi! Psst! Before you go gallivanting out of that cabin, you're gonna need to make sure you've got the right gear. You all thought he was going to see my sausage, didn't you? You want to get some of this green stuff in your bellies if you want to survive this wilderness. Keep talking. This is IG1 by Athletic Greens. It's a nutritional green drink made from the highest quality ingredients and provides your body with everything it needs to feel energised. It's also the easiest way to get in your vitamins and minerals. Mm. One scoop or travel pack, 250 mils of water every day, that's it. Well, take the lot. It's a long way to that cabin. If you drink this, it'll help boost your energy, help your muscle recovery, and strengthen your immunity. Oh, that's banging. I'll leave some for me. Get it in you, Trev. Oh. Mm. I've got a deal for you. Of course you have. I'll give you five free travel packs and a year's supply of vitamin D with your very first purchase. Just head to athleticgreens.com forward slash king in it and set yourself up for a healthier, more energetic you. We might actually have a chance of making it now. Because it's uh, not as cold today. The trees are covered in snow and they're just it's just melting off. Every now and again, there'll be like a dump of snow on the floor and you're like, what was that? Is there something following me? If you watch these videos, you know I'm not very outdoorsy, but I want to be. I love being outdoors and it's brilliant for, you know, getting fit, your mental health, like everything is connected with nature and outdoors. So this is a great test because I want to become fitter in the new year. If you guys know of any like challenges that you want to see us do this year, physical or not, leave them in the comments because we'd love to know. Why don't we bring skis? I don't actually own a pair of Craig. I haven't realised I'm not that great at skiing or snowboarding. It's coming in hot. One kilometre left. I'm scared. I can see it! 
Yes, we made it, Craig. That's huge. It looks like a proper house. And that can't be it. Where's the toilet? Well, I ain't coming out in there tonight. You'll have to come with me. Just in case a weird man grabs my legs. That's it. It's got steam on it. There's skis outside. Proper holiday home. <laughs> well, there's plenty of wood, so that's good. There's an axe and a shovel here. Should you do your own wood for the fire inside? Should we go inside and have a look? Yeah, let's go. I've got a feeling someone's already made the fire, though. I think I can smell it. Is there an upstairs? <laughs> Come on in, lads. It's freezing out there. <laughs> Get toasty. Welcome to our Swedish gas. So we've just walked in, and somebody's already lit the fire for us absolutely winning <laughs> they said it took them about two hours to light it yeah there is two other people who are going to sleep here tonight i think they're still exploring but we've made it here and this is just mad isn't it <laughs> there's enough room to sleep like 25 people in here if you needed to there's candles dotted around there's pictures on the wall they've put a lot of effort into just a little hiker's cabin so in the corner we've got like an open fire then there's a little log burner next to it extra heat i think you can cook on that as well Ooh. so maybe we can use our pot to make our dinner yeah cool and then there's massive tables that run through the middle and then there's like a huge bench on the right where i guess people set up their beds it's a little cot in the corner this is where amy's gonna sleep tonight <laughs> and then there's two windows letting in a bit of light i feel like i want a film set or something yeah everyone's carved their names into the wood as well i don't know if you should do that like but it's pretty cool to see all of the visitors who've come here, you know. Right, should we eat some sarnies or what? <laughs> okay, let's get cosy. Let's set up camp. Sandwiches. Maybe share that with our neighbours. Oh, it's a bow on the way. Do you reckon our friends will blow these up for us? If I give them a quick. Ah, one done. Good luck, Jeff. Oh, this is well comfy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why is your stuff going on? Dream on, mate. My one, is it? Bed for the night, kid. Time for a sani. So, what do we do if a bear comes knocking tonight? It's only three o'clock, we've got until midnight. We've got about 14 hours to film. Sometimes I fart in the night. Do you think they'll not? <laughs> Hello. 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 Hi, Richard. Richard, nice to Richard. meet you guys. Craig. Craig and Amy. Nice to meet you. Have you guys tried these before? Yeah. Are they hot? They're uh, they're quite hot, yeah. Oh, I don't really like them. No? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you try one? Like I don't think I'd like them I either. really like it. It's We're like just salty. Trying. All right, lads. Time to use the toilet. Hopefully there's no wolves. There's no bears. Or any moose. <sighs> Snowing. You're snowing all day, Nata. <laughs> Are you going to wreck it or shall I go first? Richard and Amanda are cool though, aren't they? Just like your standard, smart, genius Swede, they speak English. I, I find it so impressive and amazing that people can just flick between two languages. I, oh, I, I love it. All right, what have we got going on then? It's not going to be like the Mongol rally, this, is it? Oh dear God, I can smell it. Is this like the village communal toilet, is it? Oh my actual damn, what the hell? It's a 10 foot pile of shit. I don't think I can do it. Okay, yeah, clean enough. Oh, I got dungarees on, I have to take it all off and get naked. I'm gonna hold it, you go. Sandwich goes straight through you, did bro? How did you do it? <laughs> What'd you say? That was a 10 foot pile of <laughs> Okay, nice little puppy. I was only a number one, so back home. So you've got our beautiful cabin here that we're staying in. And then there's another one over there. The snow is quite deep, but we're gonna go and have an explore. Oh, okay, you don't really wanna stay in that one then. It doesn't look that warm in there. All right, we're running low on water. We've only made two cups of tea. <laughs> <laughs> this is all we got left. And we need water for our dinner. But apparently there's a spring 50 meters that way. So we're gonna need a shovel and some bravery. I think it's in there somewhere. You have to swim there, do you? <laughs> oh my goodness. Trying to compact it, are you? Yeah. Smart, that is. Kind of coming down now. If you could be a bit quicker, that'd be great. 
go no further, you will die. Yeah. We don't really know where the spring is. It's really swampy. What is it? It's like brown. I think we should just use snow instead. That looks gross. Here. Yeah, it smells as well. Oh, it does smell. Yeah, we won't do that. I killed about 10 minutes. It's time for dinner. We need some snow. Top tip, you want to find snow with no holes in it because someone could have peed through the hole. Also, obviously not the yellow stuff. Do you reckon we'll get any northern lights tonight? Special way to bring in the new year. Pop your little lantern down, Florence Nightingale. So this is the good stuff. This is what you want. Fluffy, delicious snow. I think being out in the wilderness is scenting potty. Look at that fluffy snow, mate. Let's go. <laughs> So tonight on the menu is Cajun pasta. Honestly, we love this stuff. We're not just bringing it because it's like easy food to cook when you're staying in a cabin in the woods. We cook this all the time in, in the van. We're quite lazy cooks, I'm not going to lie, but it's, it's good stuff. Mm, and it's warm. So we killed about nine minutes altogether and wondered what on earth we should do with ourselves for the rest of the night. Enjoy a hot drink on the covered porch. It's way too cold, we're going in. Stargaze. There were approximately no stars. And the third one was to bring some musical instruments and have a sing along. Oh sing no. What? I didn't bring it. Bring what? My trombone. Oh, we can't do that one either. Hang on. Your trombone's attached to the bottom of your back. <laughs> You might get a sing-song tonight of had pasta. <laughs> I need the toilet. As we don't often sit for hours on end, we decided to reflect on the past year and all of the amazing people we'd met and the places we had been. The wheelie bin challenge we did, raising money for mental health, was one of the most empowering things we'd ever done. We love giving back and definitely want to do more of that in 2023. <laughs> One thing we try to do as much as we can is take a step back and appreciate all of the experiences we've had. We also wrote down what we wanted to do this next year, so look out for more adventures coming soon. Right lads, that's it for the cabin for this evening. We're going to bed. We're not making it till midnight because we're old. But Happy New Year. I'll catch you in the morning. Ten o'clock. No, it isn't. Yeah, it's ten o'clock. Right? What? What, is, what do you mean it's ten o'clock? It's like six o'clock in the morning. Ah, my back. A few problems last night. <sighs> my first one was that I used a bag for a pillow. The other one was that Amy's bed just didn't stay up. It just went flat, so she slept on wood. Oh, oh, what was that? I feel like I'm 194 years old. Three o'clock in the morning, all I felt was a hand on my face and uh, someone go, Craig, Craig, I need to tell her, Craig, can you come with me, Craig? Oh, but okay. I had to go and I didn't want to get attacked by a bear, wolf or a really old ugly man. So that's what goes on in your head. But bless them, our friends started the fire this morning, which was golden because last night it was freezing. I don't think they wanted to wake us up either to say goodbye. So I'm a bit gutted that they left and I didn't, like we haven't got any contact with them now for forever but they really didn't like us probably but it's a beautiful day the sun's risen over the trees it looks bloody stunning happy new year babe happy new year babe happy uh, we won't get too close send all that morning breaths um, <laughs> yikes happy birthday to my friend will because it's his birthday today i should give him a ring happy new year kid should we put a brew on yeah did you sleep okay on this yeah. Do you know what? That's my karma. Because I was like, I haven't got a pillow. And you're like, all right, you can have mine. Really a nice jaws. Okay. 
careful. I've done this before. Go on, Craig. You could be on TV, Luke. With me. I've been on TV a couple of times, love. Look how Trav's about. Everybody, uh, just take an extra step back, will you? <laughs> Watch yourself. Maybe if I put it that way, it'd be better. Go on, Trav. Get put your back into it. This one, this is the one. Oh. Yeah, boy. Oh, it's definitely much warmer in here. What a belt at the start of the year, babe. It's just such a scene out here. Everywhere you look, is just amazing, it really is. I don't really want to leave, even though I had a really bad sleep and my back is killing. It was totally worth it, wasn't it? It was worth it, 100%. That was such a great experience. Bringing in the new year with a new adventure, babes. But I am looking forward to getting back to Gusta the yeah, bus. Yeah, man. She is pure luxury. I mean, we've got a flipping coffee machine, mate. Oh, yes. Yeah, so yes, good. coffee. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Everything's just glittery. It's so cool. It's like diamonds everywhere. Yeah. Leaving custard with the heating on is always a bit of a worry. We always keep our fingers crossed that we're not coming back to a fire engine and a pile of ash. Custard. <laughs> oh. It didn't burn down. Oh. It's so much warmer in here. Lovely. Good sleep, Kev. Good lads. Oh, she's in good shape. Oh dear. Pipes are frozen, mate. <laughs> oh no. Skin's character. <coughs> oh! <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you laughing at? Just us trying to act. It's funny. <laughs> okay, okay, all right. What's that? <laughs> Stop it. <laughs>